हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर राबिया पवीन फ्रॉम जामिया हमदर्द यूनिवर्सिटी न्यू डेली टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द आई मेकअप प्रोडक्ट्स अंडर द पेपर पी इलेवन दैट इज कॉस्मेटिक्स इन दिस वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सटर्नल पार्ट्स ऑफ आई टाइप्स ऑफ आई मेकअप प्रोडक्ट्स दियर क्वालिटीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड कंज्यूमर नीड्स and about the ingredients used for the preparation of different types of eye makeup products their formulation methods and evaluation of eye makeup products and their packaging first we will start with the introduction the eye is the delicate organ in human body with the several parts in a near spherical structure and each part of the eye is responsible for a certain action as you can see the different structures of eye on the screen first is eyebrow it is a thick and delicate hairs above the eyes and to prevent water sweat or other debris from dropping down into the socket of eye next part is eyelid that is also you can see in the figure on the screen eyelids are thin layer of skin on outer surface to protect the surfaces of eyes from injury they protect eyes from blinking if foreign matters like dirt dust or debris come too close to eyes and bright light that will be harmful to eyes it also helps to moisten the eyes now you can see eyelashes they give additional protection to eyes they filter foreign matter like dirt dust debris or dandruff and also prevent them from falling the eye surface now eye makeup During all dynasties and periods the eye makeup remained a daily prerequisite for women eyes are not only the windows to the human soul but also a powerful tool for communication since centuries eye makeup has played an important role in highlighting the eyes in historical eras and time periods different types of colors pigments and trends were used to decorate the eyes or to highlight the external parts of eyes black pigments or kohol was also used for centuries to accentuating eyelashes eyebrows and eyelids now types of eye makeup products here you can see first is mascara it is intended to make eyelashes longer thicker and darker they are by producing an intense look it makes the contrast between the sclera that is the white part of eye and the iris that is the colored part of eye and it dramatizes and accentuates the eyes mascara consists of a combination of waxes texturizers pigments emulsifiers and aqueous or non aqueous solvents In the figure on the screen you can see types of brushes or wands which are used for applying the mascara on eyelashes first type is oversize that is used to increase the volume of eyelashes next is cone taper that is used to pinch outer next is curved type that is used to curl the eyelashes then other types includes bald tip micro wand rubber shorty and flat comb next type of eye makeup product includes eyeliners these are formulated to contour the eyes by drawing a precise line at the base of lower and upper eyelashes eyeliners give the illusion of smaller or bigger eyes and bring out the contrast between the sclera and iris these contains texturizers emollients pigments emulsifiers and water polymers are also added to increase the viscosity of liquid liners to provide the texture to the formulation and also to increase the adhesiveness of the product to eyelids eyeliners are available in different forms like pencil gel liquid or cake in the figure you can see two figures one is before application of eyeliner and the second is after application of eyeliner now you can see the difference after applying the eyeliner on the eyelids the eyes are looking different and bigger as compared to previous figure now come to the next type of eye makeup product that is eyebrow liners these are also similar to eyeliners 
Eyebrow liner is used to highlight the natural outline and hairs of eyebrows. It creates fuller brows and covers areas of having no hair. Its composition includes water, emollients, texturizers, pigments and emulsifiers. It is similar to eyeliners, but they are little harder than the eyeliners. Now you can see in the figure on the screen, two figures, one is before the application of eyebrow liner and the other figure is after application of eyebrow liner. After application, the eyebrow is looking fuller and also it covers the areas having no hair. Next type of eye makeup product is eyeshadows. Eyeshadows are available in the market to add the dimension and depth to the eyes, make eyes bigger and attractive, thereby drawing attention to the eye color or eye appearance. They are designed to apply to eyelids and below eyebrows. These are formulated in the form of gel, stick and powders which can be either pressed or loose. Now you can see in the figure on the screen, there are different shades of different colors of eye shades and after applications of eyeshadow on the eyes, the eyes are looking different and attractive. Now come to the next type of eye makeup product that includes false eyelashes. Eyelashes extension is becoming the latest trend throughout the world for creating bold and good looks. False eyelashes are used for modifying the length and thickness of the natural eyelashes to enhance the beauty. False eyelash is synthetic and looks like a real eyelash, which applies here by hair bases onto the eyelashes for a natural look. Now you can see this in the figure on the screen. False eyelashes are available in different sizes, in different thickness and of different length which are used to either curve the eyelashes or to thicken the eyelashes or to lengthen the eyelashes. Now come to the next product that is eye makeup removers. Eye makeup remover products are formulated to remove eye makeup from the eyes. These removers are available in the form of cream, lotion and wet remover pads. Makeup remover pads are soft moisturizing pads that make easy to clean eye makeup, even waterproof mascara and these are safe for sensitive eyes. Now come to the next topic that is required qualities and characteristics and consumer needs which are required for the formulation of eye makeup products. From a consumer point of view, the quality of eye makeup products should have a following features like it should be non-irritant, non-toxic and non-allergic. These are available in different attractive shades. It should produce homogeneous color after application. It should have long lasting effect and good coverage property. The water resistance and should be dry quickly after application. There should be ease in application and remove without hurting the skin near the eye. It should adhere firmly to eyelashes and eyelids without brittleness and tackiness. There should be no clumping and fleckiness in mascara. It should have good gliding property in case of eye pencils or eyeliners or eyebrow liners. Now come to the required qualities which are needed for eye makeup products. First include the technical qualities of a product that is it should have long term stability. It should be dermatologically safe, it should have proper rheological properties, it should have high retention power, the color intensity should be same without changing the shade or the color, it should have good payoff in case of pressed powders of eyeshadows, it should have good free flowing properties in case of loose powders type of eyeshadows and makeup removers should be able to clean the skin around the eyes and
and remove waterproof eye makeup without producing any undesirable effect. Now come to the characteristics which are required for an eye makeup remover. It should have good tolerance capacity and produce no irritation. The pH should be equal to that of human tear. It should be isotonic to avoid irritation. It should have sufficient cleansing power to remove eye makeup without any undesirable effect. It should have pleasant odor or it should be neutral. It should be non-greasy and non-tacky and it should be dermatological safe. Now come to the ingredients or the excipients which are used to formulate the different types of eye makeup products. Now first come to mascara. These are available in two different types. One is cake type of mascara and the other is liquid type of mascara. Again the liquid type of mascara is divided into two types. One is waterproof and the other is water resistant type. Now come to the cake type of mascara. It was the first eye makeup product available in the market in 1920s and still present in the today's market. It has a waxy touch and it is used for application onto the eyelashes by wetting an applicator wand or brush and rub it onto the surface of mascara cake, pick up the product and then apply over the lashes. Most of the cake type of formulations tend to have slight water sensitivity and smudge with tears or when rub the eye. This is due to the presence of blend of waxes or the pigments present in the cake type of mascara which on emulsification with a wet brush produces smudging. Glossy appearance of the cake is due to presence of waxes and on the other hand the soap gives a dull appearance to the formulation. So an ideal formulation consists of a low concentration of soap and a higher concentration of waxes and other fatty materials provide water resistance cake type of mascara film. The basic components or the excipients which are required for the preparation of cake type of mascara includes soaps, emollients, waxes, antioxidants and pigments. Mascara are generally formulated by incorporating pigments into the blend of soap and hot wax, heat the mixture with continuous mixing. It is then solidified on cooling and the cold mass is moved onto a three roll mill and the size is reduced to form a smooth homogeneous mass. The mass produced is either compressed into a plastic or a metal pans or remelted and transferred to warm molds. Now the next topic is excipients which are used for the preparation of mascara. That means the ingredients which are essential for the preparation of mascara. In this first is solvents. Solvents act as a base or a vehicle and help in delivery of other ingredients. Water resistant type of mascara contains water as the primary solvent. The other solvents which can be used for the preparation of water resistant mascara includes propylene glycol, glycerine and sorbitol. Whereas the waterproofing solvents include hydrocarbons like polyisobutene and isododecane or silicones. Example of silicone is cyclomethicone and other waterproofing solvent includes paraffin distillates that is C8 to 9 isoparaffin. Next ingredient is structurants. These provides an optimal and creamy texture to the formulations which helps in gliding onto the eyelashes. They also helps in maintaining the viscosity of the formulations and also known as consistency materials. The examples include waxes like beeswax, carnauba wax, candela wax and ozokerite wax or this acetyl alcohol. The next excipients includes thickeners and stabilizers. Thickeners are used to increase the viscosity thereby improving the stability and texture of the eye formulations. The example includes waxes like beeswax, carnauba wax or the candelilla wax. It also includes clays like bentonite clay, cellulose derivatives like hydroxyethyl cellulose, gums like arabic gum and xanthan gum, acrylates, copolymers and some emulsifiers having thickening properties like stearic acid, talc, silica, 
kaolin and starch are also used as texturizing agents. Now the next ingredient is emulsifiers. These are the important excipients in both type of mascara whether it is liquid or a cake type. They help in stabilizing the two immiscible phases of formulation and prevent phase separation. The non-ionic emulsifiers are generally used like glycerol stearate, stearate 2 or isocetate. Now the next excipient is color additives. Colorants are very important ingredients in every cosmetic preparation since users buy mascaras to highlight or color their eyelashes. All the color additives are not approved for sensitive eye. The most commonly used colors are brown, black and blue. The next type of excipients includes film formers. They promote addition of the mascara on the eyelashes and also helps in film formation. The example includes gums like arabic or xanthan gums, cellulosic polymers like hydroxythylcellulose, acrylate copolymers and other types of film formers includes polyvinyl pyrolidone, polyvinyl alcohol, vinyl alcohol, polyvinyl pyrolidone, copolymer and carboxymethyl chitosan. The next type of excipients is preservatives. These are used to provide protection against the environmental and microbial contamination mainly in water based preparations. The example includes potassium sorbate, phenoxyethanol and parabens. The next ingredient is antioxidants. These are used to prevent rancidification of fixed oils and waxes. The best examples are vitamin E, butylated hydroxytoluene and butylated hydroxyanisole. The next type of excipient is chelating agent. It helps to maintain product stability by reacting with the metal ions present in the formulation. Ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid that is EDTA and its derivatives are used as chelating agent. The next excipient is emollients. These are used in combination with some waxes to maintain the required consistency of the formulations. The emollients which are used in mascara includes palm oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, pentanol and pro-vitamin B5. The next excipient which is used for preparation of mascara is lash elongating synthetics. They provide the illusion of false eyelashes. They build on the eyelashes and extend beyond the natural end of the eyelashes. Nylon fibers and rayon silk are the examples of it. Now some other additional ingredients are also added for the preparation of mascaras. These include hollow particles to create thicker eyelashes or pearlscent pigments for an extra effect. Now come to the next topic that is formulation of mascaras. Water based mascaras are prepared by oil in water emulsification process. The water soluble stabilizers or the thickeners are dissolved in water and then neutralized. The other water soluble ingredients are added to the aqueous phase and heated. All the oily components like oil, waxes and emollients they are mixed together and heat the oily phase to melt the excipients. Both the phases should have same temperatures and then mix together by adding drop wise with continuous mixing. Colorants are dispersed in oily phase. After cooling the emulsion preservatives and other thermosensitive components are added and then mixed. Now you can see on the screen a formula for the cake type of mascara which includes different excipients like waxes, pigments, emollients, polymers etc. You can see the other formula which is for the liquid type of mascara which includes pigments, waxes, preservatives, antioxidants etc. Now come to the next eye makeup product that is eyeliners. Eyeliner is applied after the eyeshadow in order to give eyes a more attracting appearance. It is available in different forms like liquid, pencil or cake. Now come to the first type of eyeliners that is liquid eyeliners. Liquid eyeliner can make perfectly defined eye when applied properly and provides longer wear than other forms of eyeliners. Liquid type of liner contains color additives dispersed in solvents 
and are applied with a brush or a fine pen like applicator. Water resistant liners are deeply pigmented blends or the emulsions in water or any other solvents whereas waterproof contains non aqueous solvents or anhydrous bases containing film forming agents as used in mascaras. The emulsion should be viscous enough to circumvent running and must dry fast as a smooth and strong film. The polymers which are incorporated as thickeners include include xanthan gum or arabic gums eyeliners consist of almost same type of excipients as in case of mascara but liners have low viscosity than mascaras the ingredients which are used in liquid type of eyeliners includes solvents thickening agents emulsifiers or surfactants pigments film formers and preservatives or antioxidants the method of preparation of liquid eyeliner is also same as in case of water resistant type of liquid mascaras now coming to next type of eyeliners that is pencil eyeliners or you can say soft crayon pencils it is supplied in either mechanical plastic cases or wooden cases the plastic cases are softer and deliver the content with less pressure the leads are mixtures of waxes oils hardened fats pigments and all pearls the softness of the blend can be modified by changing the concentration and types of components which are used for the preparation of pencil eyeliners for example if we are using high concentration of high melting point hard wax that results in harder leads the leads are formulated by extrusion process or by using molds similar to lip pencils eyeliners are softer than the lip liners because the skin around the eyes is more sensitive than the lips now coming to the next type of eyeliners that is eyebrow liners these are similar to eyeliners and are available in different range of colors like black brownish black brown or blue the pencil type or the wooden cased type is typically hard whereas plastic cased type is little softer the formula of eyebrow pencil is almost similar to the eyeliners except the higher concentration of waxes in eyebrow pencil to increase the hardness because the skin under eyebrow is not highly sensitive the method of preparation is also similar as that of eyeliners now you can see on the screen the formula is given for the cake type of eyeliner which includes different excipients like pigments waxes surfactants etc now you can see on the screen the other formula is for liquid type of eyeliner which contains waxes pigments antioxidants surfactants emollients etc now the next type of eye makeup product is eye shadows eye shadows are available in the form of cream sticks and powder which can be either pressed or loose first we'll discuss the cream or the gel type of eye shadows these eye shadows are anhydrous emulsions prepared by using oils thickened with either waxes or clay gelling agents and hydrous cream eye shadow is called as cream to powder eye shadow because it glides onto the eyelids in a cream form and then transform into a super soft powder they have higher viscosity the pearls and pigments are uniformly distributed into the cream base there is an ease in application due to their rheological properties the method of preparation of cream or the gel type of eye shadow includes mixing of all the ingredients followed by heating after heating pearls and pigments are homogeneously distributed in the hot mixture then cool it and fill it into an appropriate case cream eye shadows are also available as oil in water type of emulsions containing two phases that is oily and water phases the oily phase contains oil thickeners and emollients whereas the aqueous phase contains pigments pearls or preservatives gel form of eye shadow are water free or the anhydrous types whereas water based eye shadow contains solvent along with other excipients now come to the next type of eye shadow that is eye shadow sticks these are prepared from oils waxes and texturizing agents and also includes colors which are dispersed in the same blend they have a soft cream like texture and glide smoothly onto the eyelids the main excipients 
are almost same as in case of lipstick, but the eyeshadow stick is softer than the lipstick. For formulation of eyeshadow stick, first homogeneous mixture is prepared using pigmented powder with white or off white components which is called as base. The example includes talc, blend together and then grind. The step is known as extension. After the extension of pigments, other white bases are mixed together. Then the fragrances if present in the formula are added to a homogeneous mix. The blend is sprayed onto the powder with mixing. Then pearls are added at the last. The powder mixture is then ready for compression. The next type of eyeshadow is powder eyeshadows. These are available as either loose or press type. They are applied onto the upper eyelid by lightly stroking a fine brush or a soft sponge tipped applicator across the skin. Pressed powder eyeshadows represent the on the go form of loose powders. Both types of powders are almost similar except that press type contains binders to hold the powder components together. The next topic is the excipients which are used to formulate the eyeshadows. It includes filler which is used to provide a base for the pigments also helps in diluting the color. Next type of excipient is absorbents which are used to increase the overall density of the powders. Next is binders which are used to bind the powder component together and provide adherence to the skin. Example starches. The other excipients like thickeners, emollients, colorants or preservatives these are same as in case of mascara and eyeliners. Now you can see on the screen the formula which is given for the cream type of eyeshadow that includes the waxes, perfumes, colorants, water, pigments etc. The next formula is for powder type of eyeshadow. Now come to the next type of eye makeup product that includes the eye makeup removers. Makeup remover is a liquid formulation prepared for thorough removal of eye makeup. It contains an oily phase to dissolve waterproof makeup and an aqueous phase to remove water soluble eye makeup, thereby producing conditioning effect to the eyelashes and surrounding area. There are three types of eye makeup removers available in the market which are used to remove the eye makeup from the eye and surrounding area. First type is cleansing milks which are available as oil in water type of emulsions. Next is cleansing waters which are available as aqueous solutions with ultra mild surfactants. And the third type of eye makeup removers are cleansing pads and wipes which are impregnated in makeup remover solution. Now come to the excipients or the ingredients which are used for the preparation of eye makeup remover. First is solvent, it provides the base for the formulation. Next is emollient. It is required to maintain the consistency and creamy texture of the formulation. Then extra mild surfactants. These are used to help in mixing the oil with waterproof makeup and thereby producing the cleansing action. The example includes Polaxima 184, Polaxima sulfosuccinate and PEG-40 stearate. The next excipient is humectants. These are used to produce moisturizing effect to the skin. The example includes triethylene glycol, propylene glycol, tripropylene glycol and glycerine. Then pH buffers. These are used to maintain the overall desired pH level of the final product. The example includes disodium phosphate, dipotassium phosphate and the potassium phosphate. The other excipients like thickeners, preservatives, chelating agents, these these are same as in case of other eye makeup products. The next excipient which are used in eye makeup removers is proteins. These are added to provide skin nourishing effect after cleansing effect. And sometimes natural extracts are also added to the eye makeup removers for different purpose like antioxidant effect, soothing effect or the moisturizing effect. For examples, aloe extract or the cucumber extract. On the screen you can see the formula for eye makeup remover that is cream type and the next formula is for cleansing milk type of eye makeup remover. The method of preparation for eye makeup removers includes emulsification method. In this all the hydrophilic excipients are dissolved in the water with continuous stirring followed by heating at 40 degrees Celsius. Now surfactants and preservatives are added to an aqueous phase. All the lipophilic components are mixed together and they are heated at the same temperature. The oily phase is added to the aqueous phase with thorough mixing to complete the emulsification step. At 
last the pH is adjusted according to the skin. Now come to the next heading that is evaluation of eye makeup products. The common parameters tested for evaluation of eye makeup products include a cake strength which is used to evaluate pressed type of eyeshadows, then flow properties, bulk and tap densities or the compressibility index which are used to evaluate powder mixtures or the powder type of eye makeup products. Then the rigidity is the parameter which is used to evaluate liners, either eyeliners or eyebrow liners. Then the spreadability, firmness and texture are used to evaluate creams and gel types of eye makeup products. Then the common parameters which are used for all eye products includes viscosity, color uniformity, pH, glazing and payoff, transfer resistance, water resistance and dispersion of pigments. Now come to the next heading that is packaging of eye makeup products. Now for packing the liquid type of mascara, containers are used like slim bottles which have an applicator. For eyebrows liners, eyeliners or eyeshadows, pencil cases are used. For liquid type of eyeliners, slim glass or a polymeric bottles or fit tip pens are used. Gaudets are used for pressed powders and cake type of mascaras. Plastic containers with an applicator is used for loose powder and cream type of eyeshadows. And for the gel and cream eyeliners, glass jars are used. Now at the end, we come to in conclusion that as the eye is a very sensitive or a delicate part or the organ of the human body, so the components which are used in all the eye makeup products should be dermatological safe and should be evaluated before use. Thank you.